that we are following. You see the camera zoomed in on it here. This is I-95, the exit ramp there at University Boulevard. So it's over in the grass, as you can see. So Casey DeSantis, the governor's wife, did drop a hint for his run last night. Take a look. So far, we're going to turn things over to Renata DiGregorio to University Boulevard eastbound. You can see a vehicle over here kind of in the grassy median area, but you've got an officer there on scene. Looks like a road ranger on scene as well. So please be careful. Again, that's 95 southbound, the exit ramp there at University. You just want to be careful, but no lanes there are blocked. Talking kind of about what Lauren was mentioning as well. If you are traveling in Nassau County right now, especially along State Road 200 or you're in the Fernandina Beach area, please do be cautious because you do have some wet roadways there, so give yourself extra time. This is along I-95 southbound, the exit ramp to University Boulevard. Now you can see a vehicle right here that's over in the grass, and you can see an officer on scene very close to the edge of that exit ramp. Do believe that exit ramp is still open, so really be careful for that officer when you're passing. Again, that's 95 southbound, the exit ramp there towards University Boulevard going eastbound. But no lanes technically blocked. You just want to be careful going through that area. Your main bridges through downtown are moving up to speed, so that is some good news for you as you are starting out this morning. Do be careful if you are traveling up towards Nassau County. You've got some rain up there that Lauren's been following, but around Jacksonville, your 295 loop here is moving up to speed. I-10 eastbound from Baldwin towards the downtown area. It's about 14 to 15 minutes, so pretty normal, and that's pretty nice. Quick look here towards I-10 and Cassett. You can see eastbound's moving along pretty well. Westbound, no big problems. There is still some construction. I-10 westbound, the ramp there to Cassett, so look out for that, but it's not causing any big delays. Those of you traveling around Georgia, you have another wet start this morning along I-95 and 17, so please give yourself extra time. Slow it down a little. Thanks. Towards the Buckman Bridge, where you've got a beautiful sunrise shaping up. Drivers not having any big problems going across the Buckman, so that's all pretty nice. Traveling from St. John's County towards downtown, it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive, so pretty normal at this point, and that's some good news. Those of you up towards Nassau County into Georgia, be careful. You could have a wet commute to start this morning, so give yourself a little extra time. This crash looks like it's in its final stages of being cleared. It's up on the tow truck, should be moved here soon, but it's on 95 southbound, the exit ramp there to University, so just be careful as they finish cleaning this up, but this really is not causing any big problems. Here towards Nassau County, US 17 uh, and I-95. Not seeing wet roadways here, which is good. Little spit spots of rain, though, on the camera. So just be careful as you are headed out this morning, Nassau, Georgia, because you could see some rain on your roadways, but I'm not seeing any big delays. In fact, from State Road 200 in Nassau County to downtown, 18 to 20 minutes, pretty normal there. And around 295, you can see overall it's pretty good at this point. 95 towards downtown, not seeing any big delays, but you do see some spots of rain over here towards A1A. So again, maybe give yourself a little bit extra time. And you can see you got a crash over here, kind of in the left lane of the express lane, so it's not causing big delays, but ponding there on the roadway because you had that, that strong cell right here that Lauren was talking about, heavy rain. That's kind of in the area as well. So 295 northbound at Bay Meadows, look out for that crash in the shoulder there. Also, it looks like some slowdowns are forming on JTB eastbound, which is not surprising because I bet they're starting to see some of that heavy rain there too. But right now, no reports of crashes on Atlantic Beach or JTB at this point. I know 95 towards the downtown area moving up to speed, but again, give yourself extra time because you could see those wet roadways this morning.